Hi friends, it's time for Two for Tuesday, yes. Kelly says, yes it is. She says, you're late daddy for Two for Tuesday. And it is the 24th of September. Kelly says, let me down. Oh my gosh, where's my little pipe? There it is, Kelly. Got your little pipe there for you. Anyway, you can maybe hear her purr. That's all she does. Climbs up all over me. Yeah, well, maybe she'll stay right there for two for Tuesday. I don't know. Just checking things out. Probably scratch all down my back. Yeah, what do you think? Are we ready to get started? Everyone's waiting. Yeah, trying to figure out how to get down, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're going to hop up on the desk? All right, well... Let's get you down. Come here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I know this is going to hurt. Ah. Come up here. Anyways, it's two for Tuesday. You get Paul and Kelly the cat. All right, get, get over here. You're not going to jump down all that way yet. You're only seven weeks old. Sorry. Just gonna climb down my arm, maybe. All right, I guess we'll do two for Tuesday like this since the cat is uh, into it. So we have uh, the pipe that we honey treated, our Mr. Brog bowl number 89 stand up. And I've smoked a couple of bowls out of that since I did the honey treatment. So uh, we're going to smoke another one out of this. And I have buttered rum in that by Sutluff. Ow. Hmm. And this cat is just amazed with the smoke. What, baby? Okay, you can get down. Come on. Now I got gotcha. you. All right, you can climb around up here. You're not going to hurt anything. I don't think. We'll see. Never had a cat up on my desk here with all this tobacco and so forth. Ah, oh, Callie. Her name is Callie, C-A-L-I, short for Calico. Cat, yeah, Callie. She might come into camera range here any moment. She's checking out my spark plug tobacco, and there she is, yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right now she's looking at the smoke, and I always make sure I blow it away from her. You know, cat doesn't need secondhand smoke. Would you like to get down? All right, say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye. See, I'm getting down now. I'm going to get down. Yep, cause more havoc in the house. There we go. All right, down you go. Oh, now you want to come back up. All right, I'll just put you in my lap. There. Ah, oh. This cat purrs unbelievably loud. How did I get myself in this position? Hmm. She 
she's intrigued with the smoke. Ow. Anyways. Okay, so what do you want? Do you want to get down? Because when I put you down, then you want to get back up. All right. Say goodbye, and off you go. Goodbye. There you go. Down you go. Yeah, now you're looking at me like you want to come back up. Oh, gosh. Can't keep make up its mind. Anyways, I love this buttered rum. Just ordered another pound of it. And uh, my, uh, oh yeah, my vanilla custard, I got maybe three quarters of a pound left and I thought, ah, let's order another pound. And then I just realized I have three quarters of a pound plus another pound and now another pound is coming in. But the good news is, is we have uh, five or six different blends that I've never tried before, never reviewed, so we'll have those. Those will be in tomorrow. Mm. What are you doing, cat? Oh my gosh. So, last night... I went to bed and the cat had some cat food and I got up this morning and there was no cat food so I figured ah oh, the cat will be fine till I get home so I get home at like quarter after four and open up like one of those tuna fish can size things of nine lives put the whole thing in her bowl she woofed like three quarters of it down I gotta always make sure there's food in the bowl Oh, yeah. Very relaxing. I might do a second honey treatment on this pipe. You know, kind of brush it out with a bristled uh, pipe cleaner just to get the loose stuff out and then put another coat of honey in her. Because the last coat I put in was real thin. Now it's kind of thickened back up. I got it out of the microwave. It was still warm and everything. So I think we're going to do that. Mm. Oh, yeah. So we're going to let this rust. Ed! Over here we have Paul the Pipe Guy's favorite adult beverage, Bush Beer. There's two of them here. <clears throat> They're ice cold too. Oh yeah. As you can see, I'm growing back my goatee. I did shave on the sides and under my chin. My cheeks. I don't know. We'll see how long that lasts. The last time it got about twice as long as this, and then I couldn't take it anymore. It was itchy, and I shaved it off. <clears throat> so our next bowl we have is our Coolmore bowl, which you've probably seen before. It has these neat little carvings in it. Yeah. I love it. What a beautiful bowl. And it does have a stinger type system on it, although it is a little different than K Woody's. Uh, this doesn't have any, I don't think. No. It does have a ball on the end, but the smoke goes around the ball, not through it. 
and then into this little hole here and down through the pipe. And in that we have some vanilla custard. <clears throat> Didn't really want to get into any heavy uh, Latakio blends this evening uh, for two for Tuesday. I just figured I'd do something I really like. Although I do love those blends. It's just, you know, you have your rotation. Yes, cat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> what are you doing, cat? Must be nice just to eat, sleep, and play. although we are good stewards of our animals that we love. This cat, Callie, is extremely clean. I mean, after she ate, she sat, licked her paws, and washed her face for no less than 10 minutes. Couldn't believe it. Digging around in her litter box, and uh, I got a scooper coming in off of Amazon tomorrow. I can't wait. So I want to scoop the clumps out because she seems to be really particular. I mean, it's not full or anything, but if she's digging down to make a doo-doo and she runs into another buried doo-doo, she buries that one and looks for another spot where there's nothing. Which is good. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Vanilla custard. All day smoke. So is that buttered rum. The buttered rum by Sutliff is an all day smoke. And Sutliff happens to make the vanilla custard, too. <clears throat> so I spent $140 on tobacco. GLP's Squadron Leader is still out. I believe it's by GLP's. But it's called uh, Squadron Leader, and I've been dying to try it now for about six months, but everything is out of stock. I mean... Suppose I have enough tobacco here to last for two lifetimes, but I don't know. There's a certain type of pipe smoker, it's just never enough. Just opened up my second tin of spark plug, and the original tin um, I had purchased spark plug oh gosh maybe back in March of this year and finally got through that I think it's like one point I think it's 50 grams made by GLPs I've talked about this blend a lot very strong finally polished that little square off that's in there and so we opened up a second second ten Ah, my nurse texted me and said, this is the one whose husband has given me all of these pipes and different tobacco blends he's been collecting for 50-some years. He's still working on it. Still working on getting everything together. I was like, well, you know, no hurry. 
The time will be right when the time is right. I'm going to pause this. I did forget my ashtray. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the ashtray, and I was checking to see where the kitten was, and she's right down here, about three feet away from me, asleep in the corner. Had that big meal. Yeah, now it's time for a big nap. Got a buddy of mine, I was telling him I got this new kitten, and he's like, well, I have a cat, and we really love her. But, uh... We have to feed her at night, because if we feed her in the day, if we feed, if they feed their cat in the day, he says the cat doesn't do anything but sleep all day long, and it's up all night long, rummaging around the house, playing with things, and keeping my buddy and his wife up. So he says, we just feed our cat at night, and then the cat sleeps at night. He says, well, whatever works for you. Back to our buttered rum. Oh, this tobacco is so relaxing. Definitely an all, all day smoke. Vanilla custard was my favorite by Sutliff. And then, uh, all of a sudden, uh, things shifted gears and. Uh, Officers Club by East India Trading Company became my next favorite go-to, my favorite. Even liked it better than vanilla custard. Tasted just like vanilla custard, but it had rum or bourbon or something in it. But now, mm, I think buttered rum is my favorite. And as a pipe smoker, uh, now for about two and a half years. So I'm a newbie. Uh, some of you have been smoking 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. But I've noticed that my very favorite blend changes. Mm-hmm. I think you try one thing and then, you know, you love it and you've had enough of it and then you go back to something else or you found something new that you like better. I've had tobaccos that uh, I loved. They were my favorite. Found another favorite and then months later went back to them and they were my favorite again. I guess that's why a lot of people, you know, talk about rotation of pipe tobacco. So I don't know. I mean, how does rotation work? I mean, do you have like different lines of tobacco tins set up <clears throat> or mason jars and one week you'll smoke this blend, the next week you'll smoke that blend or one day you'll smoke this blend and the next day you'll smoke another one and continue on down the line? Is that how... You guys do it? Mm. The cat is still sleeping. Mm. I think she loves to be on camera, though. I really do. Now, so I am definitely going to give this another treatment of uh, honey. I'm going to finish this bowl. When I'm done with this bowl, I'm going to clean it all out. Should probably let it dry out for a couple days first before I put the honey in, huh? After smoking a bowl out of it. The briar does get damp. I don't want to trap that moisture 
in under carbon buildup. Mm. Yeah, sometimes patience is much better. Follow your gut feeling. Don't get in too much of a hurry to do something that and get the steps out of order. I think I'll definitely finish this bowl, clean it after it cools down, let it dry out for two, three, four days, and then put the honey in there. Let her sit for between 24 and 48 hours, and uh, load up a nice big bowl. This does have a great draw on it. <clears throat> I picked this pipe out. Like I said, Mr. Brog pipes are very high quality pipes, except for this one where the stem broke off inside of it. I mean, you can see that <clears throat> that stem is machined so thin. The part that goes into the, I don't know, what do you call that, a stumble? I don't know. But I own several other ones, Mr. Brog Pipes, and they're all great pipes. But I ordered this Mr. Brog because I loved the briar on it. I like the shape of it. It's quite different. So, one of my favorite go-to pipes. Mm. Yeah. Just starting to get a little warmer than I want her to be, so I'm going to let her rest. If you do get a chance to get uh, one of these Mr. Brog pipes, it's a number 80. Well, of course, it has to be upside down. Yeah, it's a number, it's a Mr. Brog number 89 stand-up. Yeah, try it. Great little nose warmer. We're going to let her rest and go back to our vanilla custard. Yeah. Really, I should do the honey treatment on all of my pipes because... Whether I bought them brand new or vintage, I only have a few of them that I bought that were vintage that were broken in just right to where I didn't want to ream them out. <clears throat> they don't seem to be ghosted. Uh, and so those are fine. I think I should just one by one just go through and do that honey treatment. I think actually each pipe should have like two honey treatments. Really break them in good. I saw one uh, a video where somebody used yogurt. I'm thinking to myself, mm, I don't know about that. I suppose yogurt would work, but honey sounds much better. Mm. This one, if you can hear when I draw off of it, you can hear a little gurgle. There is moisture down in there, which means one of three things. Either the pipe isn't broken yet, so it has sufficient carbon buildup to absorb the moisture, or number two, I could be smoking it too hard, creating a lot of extra moisture, or number three, the briar could be saturated with tobacco oils, tar, which means, you know, you reamer out and you do the salt alcohol treatment on it which 
gets draws all of that stuff out of the briar so it absorbs moisture more. Probably a combination of all three. Well, it's not really that bad. Mm. When I blow my smoke up in the air, the cat, Callie the cat, just looks up at it like that, like she's never seen anything like that before. Now, actually, it could be the pipe I'm smoking it out of, I don't know, but the vanilla custard does seem a little stronger than the buttered rum. But, we're talking a vintage pipe here, so I've smoked different tobaccos, and I've seen YouTube pipe presenters that say that uh, out of vintage pipes, a lot of times the tobaccos will taste a little bit different out of each different pipe, which I have experienced myself. I've had pipes that have been extremely ghosted, which is, you know, somebody smokes some real strong aromatic blend in them for years. And <clears throat> so when you put something different in it, it's going to make the tobacco taste different. You know, that pipe has that in it. So you have to do the salt and alcohol treatment. And I may do another video on that. I did one actually quite some time ago. I may do another refresher video. Uh, I actually did a video on the honey treatment uh, quite some time ago, but I have a lot more subscribers than I did then and <clears throat> thought that a new release on that demonstrating the honey treatment, how to cure your pipe with honey, would be beneficial for my subscribers, so I did. And I may do the same thing with the salt and alcohol treatment to de-ghost a pipe or if it's gurgling, just to kind of cleanse the briar out, uh, you know, yeah, I think we're going to do that again. Yeah, definitely. One of my subscribers says that my shtick is pounding bush beers, but I'll have you know that uh, I've only had one in the last 28 minutes and uh, about ready to open number two. Actually, the Rat Pack, you know, Dean Martin and <clears throat> Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. and all the other ones in the Rat Pack back in the 50s and 60s, they used to pretend that they were drinking enormous amounts of hard liquor on stage and act like they were a little buzzed, but the reality of it was half the time they weren't even drinking alcohol. They were drinking apple juice, you know. Um, so, but I guess it, bush beer is kind of my shtick, you know. Well, we're coming up close on 30 minutes, and Kelly, the calico cat, is fast asleep under my desk. Hmm. I think we'll have to wake her up. All she wanted to do for like, and that's why Two for Tuesday was about 20 minutes late. <clears throat> All she wanted to do is play when I came home. I walk in the house, honey, I'm home. Where are you, cat? And all of a sudden she comes out uh, stretching like she's lounged all day. Then comes down and wants to play. Won't leave me alone. Follows me everywhere. I love it. <laughs> Makes me happy. You know, because basically I live alone. I mean, I do have a roommate, but uh, we work opposite shifts, so uh, 
95% of the time I'm here all alone. And they say that having a pet, like a dog or a cat, actually lowers your blood sugar, lowers your um, blood pressure. Uh, you have a reduced uh, chance of getting heart disease. You're just a happier person, less stressful. You have an animal that loves you and can't wait for you to get home. I'd have a dog, but it wouldn't be fair to the dog. I mean, I'm gone for 10 hours a day. And I just live just a little too far away where I can come home and walk the dog. You know, I'm working nine hours a day. and I don't know. I'm gone 10, 11 hours a day, six days a week. It just would not be fair to the dog. And a dog is a lot more to take care of. You have to walk them and so forth uh, every morning, afternoon, at night. They're a lot of work. And they're a lot more expensive as far as vet bills. If you're going to get a pet, you need to be a responsible pet owner. That's the way I was always taught. So look into the costs surrounded in not only yearly vet, vet bills, you know, shots and so forth. Um, you got to think if they get sick or whatever. You, you Sometimes you might have to have four or five, six hundred bucks for a vet bill not to mention their food, uh, all of that stuff. You need to take that into consideration. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that don't. And you have to take it into consideration. Can you spend a fair enough amount of time with whatever pet uh, that you choose, whatever their needs are? All that is being a responsible, good pet owner. You know, it's it's a commitment. But it's a well worth one if you really look at it that way and weigh the benefits versus what your responsibilities are. Because when you have a pet, you have a huge responsibility. It's like having a child. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Two for Tuesday and enjoyed Kelly the cat and her little teeny pipe here yeah <clears throat> i'm paul the pipe guy live from rochester new york and when i get those blends in tomorrow we're going to be doing at least one tobacco review i promise anyways this is paul the pipe